Welcome to Reflector Hub TV. We share gospel content that will stir up God in you. Subscribe now and stay connected. Are you ready to pray? That this will become a moment of destiny. That many of you writing the history of your life can say, I remember it was at World Life Center, December 2020, that that siege was broken. Please, when it's time to pray, I'd like you to pray. I know that we've spent a little time, but please just walk with me. God wants to visit our destinies. Come on, 
Yashada, ancestral altars, looks of darkness, it's known spirits, lift up your heads, all ye gates, be lifted up, ancient God. Send the name of 
Jesus. Every prison door and every prison gate stopping my advancement, stopping my influence, I declare be broken. Lift your voice and pray. Yeah. 
Micah chapter 3 and verse 8. It says, I have power by the Spirit. I have power and it is by the Spirit. Psalm 66 verse 3 says, Say unto God, How terrible art thou in your ways. It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. Not through the greatness of your speaking. Is someone ready to pray? One last prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, the anointing, the unction, the grace to rise from this pit and to remain in victory let it come upon me from heaven lift your voice and pray the unction for the next level the grace from the spirit I want to truly honor your pastor and your father for allowing this. I have a covenant with God of answered prayers. Hallelujah. Yes, I do. I do. Listen to me. Let me pray for those in front here. All of you that have come to the front, every spirit that holds your life, you know my voice. I send it as an instruction in the realm of the spirit. At the count of three, let them go now. One, two, three, out of them now. Go, 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 go. Out of their lives. Out of their destinies. Everything you have stolen in the name of Jesus be gone forever. In the name of Jesus, we cost you altars of darkness. Be gone forever. In the name of Jesus. We see the rain of your love. We feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. We see the rain of your love. We feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear, so let it rain, let it rain, will you open, hallelujah, the Bible says, unto you that answers prayer, shall all flesh come. Please listen. I'm standing in faith and I'm standing in partnership with the grace upon your father. If you are yet to drop yours, please just bring it here. This is a representation of your pain. This is a representation of your sleepless night. This is a representation of that which you do not want to see. Exodus 14 14. Please give it to us. Shalada Salish Shalahas Kabranda Gatuziata Karo Zazima Ato Jale Grondo Ziziata Rosata Balikata. The Lord Himself, the Bible says, shall fight for you, and all that will remain with you is your peace, nothing missing, nothing broken. Please stretch your hands towards me. I'd like you to agree with me and pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit everywhere as I lay my hands upon this request.
Hallelujah. I stand upon your request prophetically. The same way I'm standing upon it. Everything that is on you as a load, I bring it under your feet now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. He says, Behold, I give you authority to tread upon snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. Believers, hear me. These Egyptians that you have dropped today, in the name of Jesus, you will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. Listen, Job said he will deliver you from six things. One of it is the scorching tongues of men. Any pronouncement over anyone's destiny, whether it was warranted or unwarranted, my Bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I declare by the blood, be free from every cause. Free from every pronouncement in the name of Jesus. In Genesis 32, the Bible says, When Jacob was alone, a man came to him and he wrestled. And he said, Leave me for the day, break it. He said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And he said, What is your name? He said, Jacob. He said, Thou shalt no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince you have had power with God and prevailed. And he touched the whole of his thigh and blessed him. And then my Bible says the sun arose. And they called the name of that place Peniel. The face of God. Whatever has made night time in your life. And has stopped light from rising. In the name of Jesus I declare. Let your night be turned into day now. Hear me. Whatever has refused to walk in your life, it says, Master, we have toiled all night. Please believe these are not just mere words. They are words with a throne that backs them. Master, we have toiled all night. It said, Nevertheless, at your word, what you did and failed, January, February, March, where you failed. We empower you. Go back and excel. Go back and excel. Help them please, my God. Go back and excel. Hear me. Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 1. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Whatever needs to die for you to see, I declare right now, may the earth open and swallow it. And David said, Is there any man of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? Hallelujah. Yes. And they sent him to Lodabar. And he went and brought a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Ziba had 15 sons. And yet none of the sons was favored. And he brought Mephibosheth and said, You will eat with me here. And the sons of Ziba were the ones who would tell his land. I pray for you. Every destiny helper allocated by grace to you. In this season, from the north to the south, the east and the west, by the power of prophecy, I call them into your life. Financial helpers, ministerial helpers, destiny helpers. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are rounding up. Anyone called buried in this place, whether for you or for your loved ones, 
you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, like Eli, I stand in priesthood with your pastor and we declare according to the time of life, return with your miracle testimony. Anyone trusting God for a job in this city or around this nation, I don't care how long you have waited, I stretch my hands to you and I declare by the spirit of grace three months like the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom we speak to you the words of grace in the name of Jesus the allocation that is your portion let it come to you Luke chapter 2 and verse 52 and Jesus grew and Jesus increased whatever has refused to grow in your life Everything that is alive grows. So your influence should grow. Your knowledge should grow. Your prayer life should grow. Your relationship should grow. Everything stagnating your growth. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cause it out of your life now. Hallelujah. family here that has the testimony of Ichabod that you were once in glory you once tasted honor Mariko Sazia has kabaranda shalakata grataska bedekato shalem de brakatoska ega kepakato shalakato baranda let it come upon those hands that are stretched towards you nothing dies in that hand pray for your spiritual life. I don't know what has happened to your fire. Prayer fire. Watch study fire. I pray for you right now. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. Fresh fire upon your altar. of you before you get home you will find the things that you are your expectations here waiting for you and I say by the spirit of grace your travail is not when you come here your travail is in the secret place if you have not established it in the secret place then you have work to do in the future But we are going to be praying and we are going to be asking the Lord tonight to grant us a divine revelation and to grant us the ability to settle things from the realm of the spirit so that all we do in this realm is to legislate and act out that which has been a finished work. And I give you a guarantee, your life will begin to soar. Your life will begin to soar. Everything you see in the world is a window into the realm of the spirit. And when you see it, what you see in this world is more real and is surer than anything your eyes, your ears, or your senses can perceive. Rise up on your feet. We are going to pray. I am that I am. Is there anything? Is there anything? Spirit. I 
above and beyond that we will in your life and in your family say I don't care how you look like change the prophecy tonight change change that's what the word of God says change I compel you by the power of change 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 alive with the heaven alive with the realm of the spirit alive Oh, 
That's how things work. Hey. Why we look not at the oh, things oh, that are seen, oh, the oh, 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 that are on Elijah was a man of like passion, the same frailty, nothing special. He knew how to release only that which had been a reality. Refuse to look at the scene. Refuse to concentrate on your senses. The realm of the spirit is more potent, more powerful, more real. I'm telling you. Everything in this life is subject to the superiority of the heaven. Oh, oh, oh. Hebrews 11, verse 3, I say, we Oh, 
like God in the earth. The fervent effectual prayer of any righteous man can cause anything in the realm of the spirit and reproduce it here on earth. You sound that the channels of your spirit open up. I stretch my hands. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare, following right here and online, all the centers, I declare everyone sick in body, be healed right now. I bring you the ministry of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Migraine headaches, be healed now. Blood con kabakato shaleka parakatosia. Blood conditions be healed now. Bone conditions be healed now. Every medical report that is a death sentence, we tear it apart now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Eye conditions of all sorts. Just help those under the anointing. Be healed right now. The Lord is healing a number of our sisters and ladies with all kinds of abdominal conditions. The power of God is touching you right now. Every growth, every devil in your body that should not be there, we command it to exit your body now. Pain around the hand area. The Lord is healing someone right now. You came with severe pain. Severe pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I'll not take too much of your time. I'm seeing a woman in a vision will be seated shortly, but I'm seeing God is showing me someone one, two, three, four, five. Five years, you're trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Who is that person? Five years. If there's such a person, please make sure that you fit this description. Let there be order in the house of God. The Lord is asking me to pray for that person. Who is that? Hmm. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here. The woman I'm talking about is wearing blue. You are wearing a blue dress. Set a heart. Please get something and. So you do what you do. We need a move. You must learn to be thoughtful. Shut your door and just sit down. 
Lord, this is what you have done. Thank you. You delivered me from a plane crash. Thank you. Yesterday, while we were celebrating Pastor Yemi and this that he had done, I sat back there and I saw the letter that he wrote and looking at his life and I began to think about my own life. I said, ah, but only a fool says there is no God. I still remember myself in one room. I still remember myself kneeling down before God in one room. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I will return from a meeting drenched in rain. I will climb bike and return back and say, Lord, thank you for the honor and the privilege to even serve you. To be called your servant is an honor that nothing else can take. And I did not know that heaven, my gratitude was like a student at a defense, ready for a promotion. And God says, even in the rain, you can be grateful and you can be thankful. Let's go to the next level. May God always find you on your knees. May God always find you on your knees. That whatever it is that makes you too big to roll on the floor, sincerely before God, you pile all your CAC papers. I have 26 companies. Put them all on the ground and roll before them. And say, Lord, I'm doing this before you. And everybody looks at you and they feel, they feel embarrassed. And sometimes they may ask you like they ask David, why are you disgracing yourself? He said, I'm dancing before the God that took the kingdom from your father and gave me. Because if he can take it from your father and give it to me, he can take it from me and give to another person. Oh, that if you will not lay it to heart to praise me, I can raise up stones. I can raise up stones. May my life never become a vacuum. May my space never, let it never be written in the space of my destiny. Empty. That is bishopric. Let another take. Because you have not laid it to heart to thank him. This is a powerful word for many of us. This is why for one, two years now, your influence stagnated. Your results stagnated. It's not because you are backslidden. You suddenly forgot the euphoria of the applause of men brought you to a point where it's now embarrassing to go back to the same altar that lifted you. Drive any relationship out of your life that makes God secondary, that begins to promote you above God. Tell them, hold on, thank you for this applause. But let me tell you this, I am what I am today because of the sure message of the God of David. And with our hands lifted up, we will worship our King. And with our hands lifted up, we come before you rejoicing. With our hands lifted up to the sky, and the world wonders why. We just tell them we love in our King. Oh, we just tell them. I have a few minutes. Before I pray for you, we are going to spend the next five minutes. I'm going to leave you alone with your creator. Please, cast your golden crown. I know that you are a veteran in business, you are a veteran in ministry. But for the next five minutes, I want to leave you here at Global Impact. I don't know whether it's a song you will sing. I don't know whether it's your tears that will do the singing. I don't know whether you will roll on the ground. But I want you to remember in one minute... The goodness and the faithfulness of God. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Go ahead and thank him. Don't be embarrassed. Let the world watch you worship him. That's how we rise in this kingdom. That's how we multiply. Oh, we acknowledge you, oh God. 
the doer of great things over global impact church think about your life think about his lifting when you didn't have a job when you didn't have a spouse when you didn't have a child Majesty, your majesty, your grace has found me just as I am, empty handed but alive in your hands. Say Majesty, cry before your Maker. Majesty, Majesty, forever I am changed by your love. In the presence of your Majesty, forever I am helped by your love. In the presence of your majesty, forever lifted by your love. In the presence of your majesty, you get the glory, you get the praise, you take the honor. I just want to say thank you. So in my life, in my life, be glorified, be glorified in this house, be glorified, be glorified. You get the glory, you get the praise, you take the honor. I just want to say thank you. You get the glory, you get the praise, you take the honor. I just want to say thank you. Go ahead. Don't be tired. You are not wasting your time. How can I be ashamed to tell the world you lifted me? I'll be here thanking you all of the days of my life. If God have baraka toshkele barata. If God built this church, may He build your reputation. May He build your influence. May He build your business. May He build your ministry. May He build your family. May He build your children. The building started and it did not finish. If God was Alpha, Omega over this house, then I declare. If he has started as Alpha in your life, may he also be Omega. Every uncompleted project in your life, physical building, relationships, destiny, ministry, the grace for completion, the finisher's anointing, may it rest upon you now. The same way your pastor lived to see this project. You will never start anything and leave it halfway in death. Now I speak to everything that has refused to grow. In the name of Jesus. One of the characteristics of living things is that they grow. Whatever has refuse to grow. I bow my knees before this altar and I command it, grow now! Grow 
now. For every door that needs to be opened, every gate for your next level, I speak to it. Ephata, be open now. Ephata, be open now. Gates of influence, be open now. Gates of speed, be open now. Gates of abundance, be open now. Please rise up on your feet. May it never be said you had a better yesterday. And hear me please. For everyone who has contributed in partnership with the Holy Spirit to make this project a reality, I cannot but speak over your life. Everyone, I know that people have labored in prayer. People have sown seeds and are still sowing seeds into this project. I stand in faith with Pastor Yemi David and his dear wife, the leadership, and in the name of Jesus, under this corporate anointing, we declare that hand that gave is the hand that will hold what multiplies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I came this morning to challenge you. Enough of being a baby. Enough of running around. Pray for me. Pray for me. Lock yourself in your room. And say that devil. I'm standing with you now. I have been taught the word. Kabaruskata. What mountain. Thou mountain that stands before me. I have the ability of the Holy Ghost. Can I tell you this? Please listen. Tonight is a miracle service, but I want to charge you. You cannot bring revival across a territory if you do not believe in what God has made out of you. Businessman, you carry this mentality, you will pick up the map of South Africa and look at it as though you are looking at a toy. As far as your eyes can see. Help her, help her, hold her, hold her. Hmm. Take it high, we'll have to pray. No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. This is what I believe about myself. There's no shadow you won't light up. Mountain you won't climb up. Coming after me. No wall you won't keep down. Lie you won't tear down. Hear me? Those of you who are music ministers in this nation. Tell yourself you are taking the sounds of worship. From South Africa to the ends of the earth. Don't let nobody talk you down. Don't let nobody speak nonsense. The Holy Ghost. I can fail alone. I agree. But not with the Holy Ghost. It's a winning combination that does not fail. Man of God. The day you believe this. That is the day you will begin to watch demons cast out of people. Destinies change. For as long as you believe you are a weakling. No. It is true that there are systems in the body that make for transference and impartation. But none will replace the place of the Holy Ghost. The greatest basis of your confidence in this kingdom. It's not just a man of God. It's not just an oil or a... No. The Holy Spirit. Can I tell you this? When the Lord was teaching me this, I was in one room. And from that one room, He said, if you will believe this, I will take you before kings. You will stand before nations. I was stupid enough to believe Him. Africa, what seest thou? Who told you you were weak? 
who told you you are not strong believers who told you you cannot take a territory for jesus businessman who told you that just because of the pandemic you must remain down where did you learn that when adam and eve had another voice god told them who told you who told you i didn't come from me who told you you have given your attention to another voice oh that woman who told you that after eight years without a child you cannot have one who told you oh they said that's how it happens in our place whose report will you believe can i be honest with you there are things i believe about my life and i believe about myself one of it is that until my assignment is done on earth no power under heaven sustains the ability to take me out of this realm before my time it's not bragging it's the truth number two i believe that there are over 7.6 billion people on earth it is impossible for me to be on earth serving the purposes of god and die of hunger one person has to be obedient enough to be sent by god to see to it that i do not cry this is what i believe i do not believe that i am a nuisance to any territory and anybody i believe i am a blessing it's a mentality that i have when i come to people i don't look for what to get i look for what to give i am a blessing this 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 is the kind of mentality that you must have don't move around looking at people and the next thing you what do i get what do i get no is someone learning that when you go back to your shop you go back to your mall you go back to your business lock the door and lay your hands on the walls and say in the name of jesus here comes an ambassador i declare let the spiritual gates over my business a fatter be open and you watch what happens by the power of the holy spirit your church is not growing don't sit down hating on those who are receiving results that's no right. That's right. lock yourself and walk the length and the breadth of your auditorium where is the grace that brought the animals from the wilderness into the ark of noah you think noah had the power to gather those animals wouldn't they tear him but there was a grace that came on him and the ark that is the same grace that can fish those given to you from anywhere to where they need to be apostle the challenge with my business is that there are no customers i want to give in the house of god but no one is coming now i've told you the secret people don't just come there is a grace that calls them. come on yes sir yes sir Apostle, I'm a politician, and God has told me that someday, even at a national level, I'll have a lot to do in government. But from my lowly estate, can I rise? Ask Esther. Can I rise? Ask David. Can I rise? Ask Jesus. I tell you why a lot of believers are weak. We ship the pain of our background. I came from a background with no advantage, we say. And then we believe that just because we have come into the faith life, the faith life just caters for our spiritual life and leaves us to be miserable. Reject that. Jesus said, I am come that ye may have life. Apostle, but I don't know how these great miracles will happen. Just as you do not know the way of the wind, or how bones are formed in the womb of her that is with child, so also you do not know the ways of God. Leave that one to his intelligence. 
Are you trying to say by the end of October, my life would have changed? I'm trying to say by the end of today. Come on. Yes. Did the prophet not say by this time, tomorrow? And a foolish man asked a question and said, even if God will open the windows of heaven, even if a man opens his bank account, your life will change. Not to talk of the windows of heaven. I'm shaking unbelief. Shaking unbelief. Hallelujah. We believe you have been mightily blessed by that wonderful power-packed message by God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman Nimak. For more inspiring messages, for more content, to keep your spirit always charged up, always stirred up, and causing more of God's hunger in your inner being, we encourage you keep watching Reflector Hub TV. And do well to also subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification bell to get recent updates and to receive all notifications whenever we're live. God bless you so much. Remain blessed.